Hello, people. Welcome to the Plug Road Podcast, episode number 49. Yes, 49. We've made it. Except, Tom, you might be thinking, where is episode 48? You're right to think that. Where is episode number 48? And the simple reason is, I recorded it a couple weeks ago, and the recording was messed up. That's the simple answer. So, yeah. You want the long, complicated answer? Um, yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. I do apologise for audio not sounding the greatest. But, I should have... Yeah, I do have noise suppression. With that noise suppression, it sounds like that. Um, which is, of course, not what you want. Now, let's get to the real answers of your questions and thoughts and opinions. So, do I do a full-on recap or do I do a partial recap? Ooh, that's a good question. So let's just, um, if I can actually go to the right website and my keyboard isn't, Resting on the other keyboard. It should work. So, you might be noticing. Oh, look at this. Mac OS user here. You're right, I am indeed using Mac OS. On that screen that you're seeing. But jokes on you, I'm actually still recording this with boring old Linux. Can I do a screen capture? I don't know because... Wayland is a piece of rubbish. The answer looks like no. But basically, pretend you can see the OBS window and you see my normal Linux setup on Sway, because I moved to Sway a couple of weeks ago from Hyperland. Because, you know, Hyperland dev um, is a massive arsehole and transphobic piece of shit. There you go. I said it. Um... Yeah, there's so many things to say here, sense, mail. I don't know, look at these numbers. I don't keep track of these numbers. And neither should you, really. But yeah, point is also, I have a feeling this will be my last episode on the platform known as YouTube. And I will be explaining why um, I... I, I want to abandon YouTube. Spoiler, it's for technical and sort of more community reasons why I want to move away from YouTube. Um, yeah, I mean, let's start with the simple things. YouTube is proprietary and centralised. Um, meaning YouTube is very much in the control of your videos. Can you access your Google account? Which um, is worrying because I've actually had problems where I've actually lost access to my other um, Google accounts. Partially my fault, but just also I think partially Google's fault. Basically, some of these accounts, you know, I've not touched in quite a few years. Um, since then, I changed my, my number changed, and guess what? I had, like, SMS um, login verification. Um, problem is, I can't change it. I can't change it on, like, a device that's already logged into the account. Nope, it's still got to send a message to that phone number that has not existed for... Um, days amount of years um almost four years at this point actually believe it or not so yeah and then um yeah so i've basically lost access to a bunch of my other youtube accounts not good um and they'll be like oh Recover account. Oh, we we don't have enough details to verify if it's you. Blah 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 blah. Complete nonsense. But whatever. 
um, so on and so on. So, yeah, complete nonsense there, it winds me up. So, I don't have those problems. Um, however, I will be talking about where I've been moving because the simple answer is it's not that simple. But the complicated answer might actually say actually it's not that bad. I think I can move my library away from YouTube quite easily because a few days ago maybe about a week ago at this point actually I did some testing and I'll show you well, well let's go to my website um, tigro.cc you'll actually have some problems loading Ignore actually no don't ignore me or ignore me question mark but I've been working on the redesign of my website this won't be much relevant um what's happened to the template it just oh that's my test I made idiot Oh no, okay, I might have been misremembering. No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't working, I don't know what's going Maybe I was using the older version in, in the web. But the point is, I'm doing a redesign, as you can see, it's a bit broken, ignore it. Also, um, this will be going in a square Because I have moved my website um, away from you yeah, know, centralised sources, although admittedly Neo Cities is a massive upgrade from GitHub Pages, which is incredibly centralised and owned by a gigantic corporation known as Microsoft. But I've now gone completely independent, and in fact, I've gone so completely independent, I need to be careful about this, that, let's adjust the camera, that is the web server for those maybe potential audio listeners it's a raspberry pi 4 um pretty much naked apart from there's a little tiny heat sink and then there's like a little bit of thermal paste sandwich between them that's what you're seeing and let's just slightly move the camera a bit more i think that's more well that's not quite where it was because you should, could quite clearly see you on that like that, I think it's much closer. So yeah, my website is now officially independent from large and lesser larger non-evil corporations. Which is now potentially the good time to move away from YouTube. Why would I be moving away from YouTube, you might be asking. Well, the simple answer is, YouTube is awful. YouTube's awful, as I was saying, it's proprietary, it's owned by a big comp corporation, and it's centralised. But that's not really the driving force that pushed me into this mode of properly trying to get on with it. It's actually me watching, a, well, you saw, sort of, yeah. So basically, if you aren't aware, there's this um, Mr. Beast's, I guess, team's got been in trouble. I'm talking about him himself and also another person, um, Ava Tyson, because Ava Tyson's like a pedophile or whatever, apparently something. But um point is, basically, me, from, I'm not too well versed into Mr. Beast bit, but um, like Jimmy's bit, but I believe he was like doing illegal lotteries, he was rigged or something, blah blah blah. I'm not certain, but I believe that's what's a rough idea of what's going on. But that's not a point. Ava Tyson's situation is basically love the YouTube community and the Twitter community and probably like Reddit and you know all the big socials. I sort of 
piling on to Ava Bean and people, allegedly, or well, rooming or whatever. Point is, um, potential CSAM, whatever. Um, that's not the main point with Git puts. People are like, oh, this is bad, this is bad. But, so, well, some people are like, this is bad, this is bad. But the situation gets even worse because she is trans. And basically, because she's trans, um, she gets even more attacked. Like, she was already getting attacked. Oh, you're your groomer, you're your, your, your destroying the children or whatever, you yeah, know, nonsense like that, the right wing idiots are saying. Um, but, yeah, it's not good. It's a lot of the, it's getting a lot more attention because she's trans, which is just awful. I'm not defending you know, being a pedophile or whatever women or you know, CSAM or whatever, but um, um, I'm not, you know, I'm, 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 I do think a lot of the attention is getting is because she's trans, which is, you know, not the greatest thing for this combination because, you know, trans people are like, you know, as I was saying earlier, still associated by right wing and Pedophiles, groomers, whatever, you know, evil, bad, you know, nonsense. Like, name me another trans person who's like a groomer, pedophile, CSM person, whatever. I can't think of any. And I can think of quite a few, you know, trans YouTubers. Let's name some. We've got, um, Thomas Game Docs, um, like, not necessarily a creator, but works for, you know, YouTube tell um, Emily, oh, what's her name? Young, that's her name. Emily Young from um, Linus Media Group. Um, so, Philosophy Tube, another one. I'm not too familiar. I think Philosophy Tube's another one. Okay, I'm now that actually sounds blown out because I'm not well associated with YouTubers. Oh god. Point is, you know, there's quite a lot of trans people as YouTubers and they aren't groomers, CSM, pedophiles, whatever. It's just, you know, nonsense to push this hatred onto trans people. It's quite simple. Um what their right wing idiots in intentions are. Um so yeah. And if you support that, go fuck off. Um, get off this child because you might not realise this. I'm not cis. I'm not straight. And, yeah, get out there if you don't like that. Get out. Oh, yeah, Finster. I forgot about Finster, no, watching his live stream. I mean, it's gender fluid, but, you know, points still stand for Technically, I'm doing the trans umbrella. Um, but yeah. yeah. So, if you don't like that, I'm not straight or cis. Go away. Get off this channel. And stay away with me. Stay away from me. Um, yeah. Because I don't support your nonsense right wing. Hatred of all the groomers, the people, the CS millions, they think they're, they're destroying their kids. It's like um, complete nonsense um, that they come up with, you know. I don't, I don't support it. Quite simple as. Don't know why it's a hard thing to understand for some people. I guess, you know, they just like support, you know. Absolute idiots, you know, like Donald Trump, um, Andrew Tate, um, whatever right wing idiots are there, Nigel Farage, um, you know, so on. The list goes on, that's just I'm not the greatest. And then, of course, you've got, you know, there are also people, you know, committing 
genocide in other ways, not necessarily, you know, transphobic ways, but, you know, you know you've got um, Israel, you know, attacking the Gaza Strip, Palestine thing. I, I'm not the greatest with names, to be honest, but, you know, attacking, like, a mass sent as a terrorist organisation. Meanwhile, they're, like, killing an absurd amount of people. Um, you know, they're killing... I've, I've heard claims that they've killed more people... And these aren't like, you know, soldiers mostly. These are just civilians. Then, um, you know, what's going on with Ukraine? And that's, you know, a, a Ukraine stuff lasts like over the span of like two years. I don't know what it's like for before that, you know, like 2014 into 2022, but points to stands, um, provided those figures are correct, I think it's like, 20 to 30,000, like 20,000 from Ukraine and 20,000, don't quote me on that, um, but yeah, it's ridiculous, it, it needs to be stopped, we need to cease fire, but Israel's going on like that, um, Donald Trump, if he were to be elected, which, if I'm being honest, the chances I think are actually quite low. You've got Kamala Harris now instead of Joe Biden, who's a lot more likable, um, and so on. And like, you don't really hear with that much white like, wing stuff. They like like that. They're just saying, "Oh, how dare she like Venn diagrams, or how dare she be happy?" Um, so on and so on. It's like really, that's all you got. I mean, I know they're lame, but like they're. I, I didn't really think they'd be that lame, you know? Um, but yeah, the good news as well. I am pretty confident that Kamala will win, and I, I th it really does confuse me that there are people who actually think Biden dropping out was a bad idea. I think there's way more enthusiasm for Kamala than Biden. It's like, Really? You think there's more enthusiasm? Biden's a better choice. I think it's more of the sort of soft left, like a sort of soft right that prefer Biden over um, that cable connected. No, it isn't. Um, prefer, you know, Biden, um, who is allowed, you know the genocide in Israel to continue, um, so on and so on, um, as, you know, some sort of God, even though he is, if he were elected, which of course he isn't anymore, he would probably die in office. I mean, first time since, you know, JFK, Back in 1963, November time? Was it like the 21st, 20th? I think. It's something like that. In fact, I was actually looking this up, so it's actually just a really quick answer. Well, it says 22nd there, so I don't know if it, I think that was the night after, I don't know. Point is, um, you know, it was November, I was right about that. Um, okay, yeah, it was actually on the first second. Oh, yeah, and then it's got, you know, the famous photo here of them um, with him in the car, um, you know, just before the assassination. Happened. It's crazy how men up. I mean, I think these are yeah, like secret service thing. I mean, they're in an open top roof. Could still very easily too, but surely they'd be like, I don't know, make sure they don't have like guns and whatever. But yeah, very famous photo. Um, 
Yeah. Seventeen. Six sneakers. God, they, they look really tall. I don't know how tall exactly Jeff Perry's. Jeff Perry might have actually been quite short, but I don't. These two like, look really quite tall. Actually, these two over here are quite tall. No, not quite as tall, but it's a bit. Um, but, yeah. Um. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, should I explain what's been going on with this? Well, what's been going on here? What, what's, what am I computing on right here with the Snow Leopard um, install? And, well, if you don't hear, you might be able to guess what those who might be listening. It says uh, Mac OS 10, 10.6.8, this is the about this Mac window. Um, yeah, it says the CPU there's 2.24 quad core Intel Xeons, and for memory, there's 10 gigs of 1066 megahertz DDR3, and it's not this one, it's just a slight effort. And you might be able to work this out, but that is indeed my 2010 Mac Pro, so right next to me on my right. For you, it's your left when my um, moving up and down. That is my Mac Pro. Um, and yeah, it's a Mac Pro. Um, <laughs> but point is, it's it's running Snow Leopard. It did. This was it did evolve out from sort of a scrap video slash on old video that I was making about my MacBook Pro. Um, which is down here. Um, will I sort this Mac Pro, MacBook Pro out at some point? Yes. Um, for those somewhere, it's a late 2013 Mac Pro. Um, no, 2013, I meant 2011 Mac Pro. So it's my 2013 Mac Pro. I was confusing it with. Um, totally it's got 8 gigs of RAM. i chucked of Two fifty gigabit SSD, I think it's a Samsung. That point is it's an yeah two fifty six. Point is it's fine inches. It's got a nice five, not a nice pair, and blah 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 blah. It was quite a nice laptop, but unfortunately the screen in it is dead, and also potentially the battery, and I'm. Some stupid idiot now from a couple of years ago it's like ruined the base of the MacBook so it's sort of all bent and it's just not going back on ever, I don't think. I mean I don't have the screws, I don't know where they are, blah 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 blah. So I've got like this um plastic cover on the bottom as well to sort of straighten things out although it's not straight really. I mean neat that I, but you know. Now, I will eventually do a revival later this year, question mark. Also, God, this is heavy. I swear this is actually more heavier than my ThinkPad. And my ThinkPad is 14 inches and it's very slightly wider. I also need to be mindful of storage, I've just realised, because I would be running vaguely low on storage on the um on here um i mean i've got a gig left but i don't I don't trust things don't trust anything don't trust everything or anything you know don't trust everything but point is is there anything I could um oh that can go that can go I don't need the original sources. So it's just deleting the iMac G3 episode twenty one. 
Um, and let's just flush it down. Oh wait, empty cache. Um, there we go. Should be gone. I should have, have about, I think, enough for 1.6 gigs of storage. I actually got to hit confirm. Oh wow, actually it's a bit more. 4.1 gigs. Nice. Um, um, here we go, back clear. So, um, yeah, I've done really quite off topic. Not well, actually, at all. But I actually went back onto topic. So I was going to talk about you, I suppose. I mean, I was sort of planning to get a bit political because at the end of the whole day, our minds are very much political. I'm very politically minded. Um, some people might not like that, some people might not like that. Tough. But there are people who don't like it because I talk about it. Um, yeah, so I've not currently properly done any upgrades to this Mac Pro. However, I do have a plan. I'm getting the second optical drive. I've stolen the one from Octo for now. I will eventually get some more SATA optical drives like you know full size ones so quite a few um you know, laptop ones um yeah and I will put them in here um in my computers I want you know two for two two for well I want more than two for Clive PC but I need a new case for Clive PC if I want to have more than two and I want to put yeah, my new motherboard in it that I've not talked about, but I've got a new motherboard, it's up here. Um, and then, yeah, two for up two as well, because why not? So that'd be six, but I'll probably have maybe like four optical drives in Clive PC in the new case, something ridiculous like that. Um, yeah, I want as many optical drives. I want a bunch of drives, I want a floppy drive, a zip drive, SD card reader, because it annoys me, I don't really have one. The only thing that really has it is this and my 2039 Mac. And I guess, you know, some of my Apple laptops, but I don't really use those laptops, so it's not really worth saying they have them. Blah, 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 blah. Ah! My mouth is definitely starting to get dry. Supposedly, I could get away with recording this with potentially 60 FPS. It seems to be quite consistently at 30 FPS. Like, considering what happened last time when I was using OBS, don't necessarily believe that. That's my warning. But, you never know. Yeah, so I have a new cable for the optical drive things because if you saw the first episode of MacBook, Mac Pro Adventures, I ended up breaking the lower optical drive um, port, well, the data bit of it, so I've got a new cable that should be arriving today, as you see this. Um, um, yeah, and I will be released, um, and then I've also got a new trackpad for my ThinkPad. Um, which will, of course, be part of ThinkPad episode number three. I think in ThinkPad episode three, I'll probably end up getting a new keyboard as well, because that's quite hard on my body. So I did sort of end up slightly messing up the keyboard. By that, I've lost the Tab key, the N key, and the M key. One of them's on the table behind me. I don't know where the Tab key's gone. I couldn't really get it back on, which is why I sort of abandoned it. And the end key, the sort of scissor switch thing that's gone. Or the end key, no, that's the end key I'm talking about. And also the track point doesn't work. That's all my fault. Um, I got a bit sort of destructive, though. It's better than destructing this thing. <sighs> not a good upgrade, but I mean, it's my hard earned money. It's not, you know, my dad's life. This was actually bought with my own money from my work, from my work. 
How am I going to monetize all this? I don't know. But who cares? It's not my problem right now. I don't really have a proper means of payment. Even on Patreon, I'm not actually got like a means of like me receiving funds. I can you know, spend money on Patreon and stuff, but I can't actually get real meaningful money. Which is why I don't really promote it, but like at the same time, I don't want to make this seem like a for-profit thing, because, I mean, I, if I'm being honest, I do feel like I will have to sort of turn this into my job, because like, I really don't know how I'm going to get employed otherwise. But, like, I don't see how... Um, Um, yeah, I don't really see how to get a proper, a proper job. I just genuinely don't see it. I, I don't want to deal with the nonsense, you know, employers. The the nonsense horrors of the corporate world always scare me. It's just hard. Oh, I don't want to deal with that. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I mean, I did survive a job, but I really... I, I, I enjoyed it, but like the corporate little bits, it just scared me. That's the thing. I did get paid, I would say get paid, but technically it was like minimum wage, so not really good money. I mean, technically there is. Basically, for those somewhere in the UK, minimum wage isn't quite as simple as minimum wage full stop. I don't know how much. If, like, other countries are like that, because I don't really put any attention, and I don't really need to know. But in the UK, there's, like, four different minimum wages. Um, let me just... Um, UK minimum wage. Um, okay, go to UK. Seems good. Um, I mean, it is a to government website. Um, so, um, um, previous rates, oh, okay, here it is. So, um, the rates are for an apprentice and under 18, the minimum wage is an abysmal 640 per hour. If you're 18 to 20, the minimum wage is £8.60. And if you're 21 and over, it's 11 and from 2024 onwards. When I was doing my work, it was actually the um, one before, um, which interestingly was slightly different. There was a 23 and over. So there was 10.4. Two for 23 and over, 21 to 22, 10, 18, 18 to 27, 49, a massive dip. Under 18 and apprentice, 5 pound 28. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm out of it. Uh, the inflation word, but also inflation is just a word for um, corporations, you know, shops and whatever to raise. Their prices, you know, I don't know, British Gas is, um, Gas is, um, you know, of the water companies, or the Eons, and I don't know what other electric companies there are, Octopus Energy, and no one's raised the prices. It's nonsense, mostly, but whatever. The point is, I got paid, I would say, sort of like 11 60 per hour, something like that. So it was technically above minimum wage but is it really above minimum wage and also they get us working once a week so and one day per week um not for as long either it was only nine till three i do sort of regret that but i think i might have actually been sneakily being paid for nine to five times but um i don't know so it, it felt a bit high, but worked well. Um, yeah, so that was. So I do miss, you know, getting paid a consistent amount, but 
I mean, it's a luxury, I think, getting paid a consistent amount for me. Unless, like, I don't know if someone I've got me a contract, but it was like, I thought, I don't know, I don't know hosting services for them or something ridiculous, like, that was for you, something like that, I guess. Getting paid a consistent amount would actually be not scary, not anything bad, but I don't know. Um, have you, there's actually an OBS panel dock thing I can have for stats. Yeah, apparently it's actually doing really quite well. Um, do you believe that? I don't know. Um, yeah, getting paid scary. Um, but yeah, hopefully I do get work out. I mean, I do have a lot of plans. I say a lot of plans. Not plans that are properly thought out, but vague plans. But the vague plans, I guess I'll tell you. Get out of here, by. Yeah, it's not early 2025 at the latest, which still could potentially be later. Um, try and get a proper sort of income. Um, try and get a way, a meaningful way to get people to pay for me. I do have a couple of ideas, but I'm not, you know, certain. Um, yeah, I don't want to make, you yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a business, I'm more or less just wanting to provide a service that is pretty much free but like you know you you are welcome to donate and I will you know, not forcibly push it but sort of you know, give a nice nudge of donation uh, please, please donate if you use this instance more if you can uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be consistent income or whatever i, I don't really care uh, if it's you know like i don't one pound per month it's better than none per month and you're actually potentially contributing to paying the levels of and i mean if, if, even just breaking even i say breaking even i think Pretty much like getting donations, the cost it, um, the cost you know to operate, you know, a vast bay pie, um, and so on. You know, like the actual hosting bit, then sure. But of course, you've got to remember there there will probably be a house. I mean, oh, I I, I can't just say this. I kind of don't expect to would like want so much more but I don't I, I, I don't expect to would like this is a real fight by the way um but yeah um and I've not actually properly talked about my plan so yeah my website is now self-hosted bugwood.cc um, I want to try and get, here's the big plan, I want to try and get my videos hosted on the website. Now on Peertube, the, the total size was about 200 gigs, so the only problem there is my Raspberry Pi's got 256 gig SD card, but I mean a 512 gig SD card's quite cheap. I also need to, you know, consider backups, um, so on and so on. I mean, it's currently my website, not much would be lost if, like, I lost everything right now. Like, genuinely, it's pretty much just a couple of slight additions. It would be maybe an hour's worth of work lost, um, you know, inconvenient. And, you know, there's no one else stuff can't leave in I used to on there 
Um, so I'm sickly if that was screwdriver, fun pink, think my favourite instrument, it's like a triangle. Why do triangles exist? I don't believe they're real apart from, you know, schools buying them, they're just a piece of, like, I don't know, aluminium or stainless steel or whatever, and you hit it with another piece of same material pretty much. But what on earth is that? I don't believe that's real. Not real. Just being serious. Well, basically serious. But yeah. Um. But also, you need to be school leaving age to get an actual wage. So, school leaving age. Um. You can leave school on the last Friday of June by summer holiday. Yeah, and then you must do work following, stay full time education for example, college. That's what I'm doing. Start an apprenticeship or spend 20 more weeks um, working, volunteering, well, in part time education. Um, If you turn 16 between 1st of March and 3rd September, you can leave school up to the 31st of May. I'm confused. If you turn 16 between 1st of March and Christmas, Holidays in school, yeah, that's interesting. You can leave school on the last Friday in June, as long as it will be 16. By the end school years, summer holidays. Okay, that's similar to, except from there isn't you know, the extra bit of, yeah, you, know, you have to be in education. So, England's the worst out of them because if I'm being honest I think education like, can become meaningless at a certain point and I think for me well, that's, I don't know why that sounded like it was coming out I was just saying Education for me is kind of meaningless. I was supposed to be in the Western country, it didn't seem to pick up, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, what can you do? Um, well, wait, I mean, how long until I'm turning 18? Four months. I can't, I can't believe it, but like, it's in time, I'm sort of like, yes, fine, you know. Finally, after all of these years, I'm free. I'm free. I'm absolutely free. I don't really get exactly what apprenticeship exactly means, but it doesn't matter. I'm not relevant. I need to stock up on water after I finish this because my mouth is quite dry. Um, yeah, so time is going sort of back to YouTube a bit. Um, plans to meet videos onto my website, and of course, I will eventually get a proper, proper present from YouTube as well, alongside you know my own videos. Hopefully, I'll be able to automate, make uploading both to both platforms, and then maybe eventually one day, even my own website will be on a Fediverse. But, I mean, it's all static right now, and it's not, it doesn't really matter. By the way, download speeds are quite fast on my website, it appears, and well, when I last used it, if I go to Cly Files, um, which is a thing that I've been working on, um, stuff, um, so if I go down to, 
this bit, this is the biggest file. It's about a gig, yeah, 1.3 gigs. Let's see how fast it downloads. 20 megabytes per second. Boom. Faster than most websites, let's be real. And that's the truth, unfortunately. And that's not even the, you know, the full speed of my internet. I mean, my internet is, um, yeah, like, 900 down but of course you're sort of limited by the up and the up is pretty about that to be fair so that's probably why it's quite sort of consistent around the 20 megabytes per second mark but as you can see it's pretty quick so doing the web like my host website hosting stuff very well could seem like a viable option and I will of course have download options although I will have to try and find an anti you know protection thing but um, not DDoS protection but the problem is of course you know the biggest DDoS protection would result in my website being in the hands of um, a company that for quite a while was defending key farms which is a um, website blog form I believe but basically it's like transphobic nonsense um, well that, it was part of that you know you had like the whole Keffels thing I mean Keffels is the stream that part um, going back to point earlier but she's still trans and I want to say she probably uploads to hits and boards all over to YouTube you know so on so there's that as well that's the same um but yeah very quick very easy downloads I will tidy up this website I mean this sort of five files website is quite plain um, messy. I, I need to find a proper, more easier way to edit my website because currently it's not that quick and easy, which is why sort of development's been a bit slow. Over. But yeah, I've also slightly changed the style. I've made the um, buttons and the um, art on go home on here. Stupid thing. Um, and the table here um, is no longer, you know, sort of pill shaped. And the simple reason is it's trying to replicate, you know, sort of this sort of era of your eyes where, you know, there was tomorphism and sort of glossy stuff, food to go air or whatever. Um, and back in the day, especially with the textbook stuff, there was actually a meaning between it being sort of squared off and this sort of rounded pill shaped text box and the indication of the pill shape um, is that it's resizable. None of these elements are resizable which is why it ended up being changed to being not pill shaped essentially also is my I can't even click on that please is my peer tube still up I do need to try and locate a temporary um thing but yeah point is um I won't do that I won't be quite you know self sufficient and um, I will Revive probably when I move out. When I, I will revive that my server over there because it's been sitting dormant for I think, yeah, I don't want to think about it, but it's true. And probably by the time I touch it again, it'll potentially be two years. Um, but yeah, that will eventually be happening when I don't know, but eventually I will. Have proper servo once again. 
Um, I don't have much else to say, no. Um, am I going to get off? Yes, potentially. Um, I bet when I end this, there'll be like something I forgot to mention. I'll be like, oh no, I forgot this, blah 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 blah. Um, but that's not today, it seems. So, yes. Quick thoughts. Um, not really. Uh, oh, the Xbox 360 stores down, uh, marketplace has shut down. It's quite a celebration because a bad digital storefronts. Bad when it's made by someone like Microsoft who will, you know, shut it down like that. Well, like, you know, you still have access to your games, but, you know, that very well could disappear one day. Which is why you should have physical copies of the game. Of course, unfortunately, not all games will release physically. And then don't forget that, um, um, it's not even easy to pirate it because you didn't require sold win for, um, yeah. And let's, 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 let's investigate. You know, I've seen people say, oh yeah, you can get Xboxes pre-modded or there's a modding, modding services on, you know, like eBay and what. Let's have a look then. Xbox 360 modded. How about I look at that? And will it be ridiculously expensive? That's not modded. That does not say modded anywhere. Um, no words are mentioned as modded. Oh look, you've got blades dashboard. I do actually downgrade. I didn't realise downgrade is possible, but hey, look, look at that. That actually looks beautiful. I know people go on about Xbox 360 blades. But to you say Xbox 360 blades do look quite cool, but I also do kind of like the yeah, sort of metro style design that you've got. There it is. That's the box. Custom 360 console. Oh, that's the power adapter. Um, what is this modded then? And um, that like a custom case. Um, what, what is it then? Please only buy if you know what it is. Screw you. Um, I'm just saying that it's been a bit useful. Um, RGH, what's RGH? That means... Yeah. Is the Xbox 360 actually code named Corona? Also, don't mention you can mod it without saying it. Can be mod I'm pretty sure that the Xbox 360 is just the modding process is basically the same as the uh, modding. Um, console mods, okay, cool. Okay, I guess, you know, modding, um, um, mods would be, um, which mod can I buy? Let's say that, okay, so. What retail comp does complete the main company? Um, blah 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 blah. Do 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 um, uh, 
Um, mm -hmm. audio port infected. I've also a connect port because it didn't exist. Hard drive is a large module and top button drive fits into place. Hard drive showers into it. We've got to fix the same thing. We can put a power to connect to it. I should probably just be reading this off the podcast because it's get really quite boring. But I've got it. Um, blah blah blah. What's the one that I've got? Oh wait, it's this one. It's the okay. The corona is that ignore me. Um, interesting. See the boards. Little, a bit more boring. I think no, but I'm not that sorry. Well, actually, the, that was a me described as corona, and it doesn't appear to be that. Um, like, um, I think mine's the Trinity, um, interesting, um, do do, I think I've got a Trinity, um, um, so yeah. Um, oh. um, so it got flash storage, but like, you know, the same stuff it stores on hard drive. Blah, 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 blah. Point is, I'm getting distracted with this. Quite a common theme throughout these episodes, let's be real. But yeah, point is, independent Clive Rowe is happening. I've got my independent website where I'll be hosting my videos and so on. And if you want an independent browser, don't use Ladybird because of the stuff about Andreas Kling. I think I've opened that's the name, apologies if not. Um, being quite questionable developer. Um, sort of misogynistic, you know, transphobic, blah, blah, blah. Just not good. That's the best way to summarise it. And if you want a true um, independent web browser, really, what you should be supporting is the server browser. This is the server browser. Um, here. Um, they were originally um, part of Mozilla and then in 2020 they separated, like um, Mozilla got rid of all the employees and um, development got picked up by the Linux Foundation and they're absolutely back. Uh, there was like two years gap of basically an activity between 2020 and like 2022 or something like that. But yeah, point is, and guess what, unlike, um, what's the word, unlike Ladybird, they provide pre-built binaries and they don't have completely flashy um, marketing. They've got, you know, a sort of, you know, why you'd want to use it, yes, but they've also got their blog posts, their downloads, their contacts, all within this space, unlike the Ladybird um, website, which have also got a really shitty branding. Let's just say that um, they're like the breed brand is genuinely awful. Look, it's awful corporate nonsense. And I don't know if this is still the case. Oh, yeah. AI generated imagery. And what makes um, Nobed unique? We're focusing on being no monetized Asian. It's kind of questionable because. Um, and that I don't think is quite true. I want to say they using Spider Monkey, don't quote me on that. It's just like Firefox and like, you know, like sort of the go on the stuff. Um, focused on one thing, the web browser. I mean, that's the case now. They sort of banned it, put away from Serenity, and I can't blame them. Um, no monetization. Mm, you never know. 
I'm not confident, especially considering to him. the co-founder of GitHub, but I think invested a million quid into it. And also, there's like other sponsors, Vito, yet. Um, no, and, you know, Shopify I've heard of. Well, Vito and Shopify are like the only ones I've actually properly heard of. Let's be real, but point is, corporately sponsored. I'm not saying, you know, like, Sovo is, but, like, they're a lot more not, like, necessarily big corporations and more funded by people, it seemed, which is what you want for a open source independent web browser. How hard is it for that to understand? Like, seriously, and then also don't forget they do bird development is only on big tech platforms such as Discord and yeah, GitHub. More the problems Discord because, um, you know, Discord have proven themselves to be problematic. I'm not saying GitHub isn't problematic. GitHub absolutely is, and there's a reason why I have abandoned GitHub, like nothing new is happening from on my GitHub page apart from me um putting messages on my project to say it's moved over to get gay um the major name i love that you're um and you know yeah also i will point out i've actually got some nice terminal utilities in my thing so if i do it clear um i do actually indeed have my super sub -em, super -em, i'm going to pronounce it super but i guess super -em. Technically, I think, and I could install. I don't know, I can't think of something like being on Mac port so I could probably install. But point is, I can install stuff using SAPM, which is amazing. And I could do it like, you know, I could do SAPM, I um, type in my password of course, and boom. It's doing its magic. Well, truly, so I do want, you know, may improve Superm, but I mean, I'm sort of running out of ideas. Um, I do want maybe try and what make it like C plus plus or fast, last plus. No, I don't know, but um, instead of bash, um, try and make it fast. I mean it actually doesn't seem to suffer from that much of performance issues on like another certain bash piece of software called new effects as you can see it's still quite slow but we have to do a fast fetch which unfortunately when installed on here it's a lot faster that's all we need other weird thing i will quickly point out is the screen on here um display if you go on here I can actually choose 200 hertz on here, but on Sonoma and Linux, here I only let me choose 144. Don't ask, I genuinely don't know. That's my response to that. And, yeah, you have much else to say. No, not really. We've gone over the hour mark at this point. But yeah, if you want an independent web browser server, if you want an independent Clyde bro, just like that does it say you can't really support me i mean you could use patreon but patreon is mm, sort of big corporate and i'm not you know particularly fond of it i think maybe i'll eventually try and work out a proper way of doing this but like online payments isn't just simple oh here's money and here's money and yeah no it's a lot more stupid than that and it's just like i don't want to deal with I think it's quite an awful place to be. Also, I ended up getting the MCC tape. Um, it did take a few hours to you know, complete the challenges, but I did manage to do it. I guess it was a bit easier than I was expecting, but I don't know. Um, and hopefully it'll appear in Java quite soon because I believe it is actually supposed to be appearing on Java otherwise I've pretty actively wasted my time. But yeah. Do I have much else to say? No. I don't think so. Um so 
for real this time. Hope you enjoyed this. And I'll uh, see you next time. Well, okay. I've been using the iPod Classic, or well, not anymore, but I actually could be webcam terrible conveniently. Um, and also, hello, Mac Mini. Oh, yeah, there's a new video. Well, a video I sort of started working on, and I have now sort of abandoned for the foreseeable future. I see my flare probably grab it. Apple TV adventures. I bought a first gen Apple TV. It's sitting. Um, over there on my palm actually for the old one that, you know, like digital audio gigabit where it is, I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's not a yoke, so. Um, and yeah, that's, um, it's all been on hold because I've sort of lost all my USB sticks. Uh, as in, they've either, you know, the connectors have gone off or they, um, I've lost them. I've got two missing, in fact. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. Can I think of anything else to say? Quickly. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. quickly. And a full table again. Stupid thing. To be fair, this actually is mostly a fair setup than what I had before, but it's still not a great setup. Let's be real, but yeah, um, my mouth is genuinely really dry and not nice. You don't want to be me right now, I'm just saying. Um, but um, yeah, can't think of anything else, or might just go ramble on until the end of time. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else to be honest. God, it's been so quiet outside, I just sort of forgot windows open. Normally, it's like some, you know, idiot drunk people outside. And uh, I don't really believe it's because, you know, oh, it's a weekday, because I don't think that's a good excuse, because I'm pretty sure it's been quite active over the last few days at um, night time, so like, I don't know what's going on there. Car's going past, but the car's not a bunch of drunk idiots. Do you hear someone? I thought I heard someone. Maybe not. But yeah. I mean, there was loud music blasting throughout the day early on. It's just like, oh. And I was actually considering recording it. And I was completely alone, but whatever. Um, yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this one hour and almost eight minutes. It'll be eight minutes now. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next episode, which is who knows. And yeah, I guess I'm releasing this episode on Wednesday, on Thursday. Not Wednesday, so Thursday today. On a Thursday. Cool, I guess. Goodbye. I'm not even where the webcam is. Bye.